Whoa. film little pieces what of the time. fuck but he could be talking about photography or have you done something wrong talk to me hey victoria what do you want max i see everything here at blackwell do you understand what i'm saying no and leave me alone <laughs> for reals warren this is between you and me don't insult me max go on hey leave him alone max chloe it makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia without a word, without me. Something happened to her. Wait, is that grass? Tell me the truth, that's an order. I didn't black out, I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max? Tell me everything. after staying up all night. I could use my rewind to catch a few more Z's, but maybe I better save my strength. Superhero is dirty work. I need to shower. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Think the Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Oh, hello zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. 
It'll be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Cartier Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, the greatest. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game, and man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. This picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? Thanks, Victoria. I always wanted to be a Max meme when I grew up. She'll spread that shit everywhere. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. I admit, this is hilarious, but... I shouldn't sink to Victoria's bully level. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Just because some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to safeguard our toiletries. So, summer camp. Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall it be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton? Uh-oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again.
Mrs. Hoyda is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Gordon, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I'm so on it, consider it done. No brook here. Fine, I won't disturb you. Fine, I won't disturb you. Fine, I won't disturb you. Ow! Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. This is both sad and pathetic. Who will survive and what will be left of them? That would be fun to put skull. Like I could pull this look off. Hello, Victoria. Hmm. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Rollerblade! Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just for a I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Tre Trevor is making himself comfortable. Oof, hope they don't get busted. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. 
Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Let's talk later, Max. Wake up, Max. Juliet is next to me in the hall, not her room. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Man, people here are merciless. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max, did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. I'm not watching the video, Max. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. I don't have time, Max. I can't talk now. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Go away! People are leaving! Clearly not... Welcome to Black Hill. Samuel truly is a weirdo, but he is great at cleaning up. Chloe is so determined to find you, Rachel. Why, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max, that's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Are you my guardian angel? Hardly, I just have a sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? I love the idea of going back in time to fix mistakes in Groundhog Day. <laughs> I barely want to go forward in time, much less go backward. I hear you, but it's all about the choices you make now. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. Max, let's talk later. Good luck with Warren. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. 
Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Otter power? I'm so not there. After my shower, I'll bring her book back, and that'll be a good excuse for us to chat. Maybe just talking with a friend will help her feel better? What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. <sighs> Oops. I forgot about the water pressure. Really, Max? Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Go away! People are sleeping! Clearly not a morning person. Let's talk later, Max. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book.
Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. Ta-da! I do love a clean room. Very zen. Except for that bullshit graffiti. No book here. And nothing here. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. My desk is a pig's... <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to find I won't disturb you. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. left out amnation. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Kate really has a doting father. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Why did she cover up the mirror? If she can't look at herself? Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. 
Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Um, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. Should I watch it? Just for posterity? Are you kidding? Do you know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... and... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? I don't know what to tell this girl. Um, I don't know. I'm going to think about it for a minute. I think we're going to hit look for proof. Give me one second, guys. I'll be right back.
Yeah, I think we should look for proof. Because right now we don't have real proof of anything this dude's doing. So if we go to the police, they're just going to be like, I fit you're not going to do anything, and then they're going to fucking target her more. So. And I think we should help Kate, so let's try to help her. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. She's pissed, but maybe we picked the wrong thing. I don't know. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Well, we'll see what happens. Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth, Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. No brook here. Let's talk later, Max. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident and too easy to sneak into. 
I definitely won't play with this thing again. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? But I could use this to attract squirrels. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Ah, there's Samuel, up early, already communing with the critters. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. Is it just me or am I thinking I think this guy killed up Rachel? <laughs> Sorry to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. So did you know her? Like I told the police. She was a good egg. And she gave me those photos. Oh, you talked to the police? Rachel wanted to be a model. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without team. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk, for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends, too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Taylor. Conversation over. Taylor. Conversation over. Max, get over here. Warren is out and about already, too. Looks like he's waiting for him. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. 
You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Just a pirate I used to know. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? These choices. Should I tell him not to get involved? He's already involved. He I mean he got his ass beat. So might as well tell him why he got his ass beat, huh? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please don't say anything. I'll give you more info later. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia. That drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Didn't I already say I was going to a party? Oh well, we'll see what happens. I guess I couldn't run up that hill. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. She looks busy and stressed. No time for chit-chat. 
I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. You can't have my lottery ticket. Buy your own. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. I don't want to go that way. Stop that! Stop! No barking. There was something creepy about that guy. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. Until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. Poor woman. I hope it's a shelter for her. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. 
They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Lack like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What happened to you? What didn't happen to me? Sometimes you start out in life turned around the wrong way. I married dumb, made mistakes, got cheated out of my savings, lost my home, and now I hang out here. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I have to go now. Goodbye. Come talk to me any old time you want, young lady. I don't want to go that way. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The she world beat me. is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Ugh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. This town is more like a mystery to me. You're young. You'll get over it. Excuse me. I have to read my horoscope. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silver. Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Now oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. I always wonder what people think about when they eat alone. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Oh yeah, hello again! Back to breakfast, eh? Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. This guy has serious corners. Why does that so not sound fun? I might make Chloe check this out with me. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. That graffiti has been here forever. Gross.
Thank you, redneck poet. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. Coming up at noon, K-Bay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So, stay tuned to K-Bay 7 News for the real story. That guy looks unpleasant. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said that we belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. I'm just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching. That loser is me. Of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. <clears throat> no, I think she's just had some bad luck. You have to create your own good luck. I think Chloe would rather destroy. But I'm just a cop, not a psychologist, so... How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. I wouldn't last one day as a trucker. Those rigs are too damn big. Truckers have such a romantic life. Always on the road. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Drool. Want everything.
I got you, babe? <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. Looks fun. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. And there she is, a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. Very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things will not work for you and Chloe. I promise not I to be. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories, even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean... Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. 
He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl. Pronto. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. One Belgian waffle at 12 Nerd graffiti. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with bacon. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way... Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. You need to look at the items and rewind so Chloe believes you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything.
You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 11, 10 a.m.? That is so wrong. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's act. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. This is me telling you what... Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much? 86. That's right. So that was cool. I'm pretty sure. Yes, you know. A superpower that allow. Amazing. Your car key. Duh, wait. I... Not bad, Super Max. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more, something way cooler, so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Or I'll leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my part? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for?
I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor fight, and Joyce beats them. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops! Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. You are really whiffing this. This is a sad day in Maxville. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? I'm going to predict the trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. And he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then... let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. <clears throat> okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and... Oh, Come on, before mom starts some more shit. Let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. 
You don't call me once in five years, and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with, too. I don't know what to do. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. It sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. going to get pissed at me this week. That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Those shells look fresh. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. That kind of hurts. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. I don't want to intrude, but I was here.
I don't want to go that way. Nope, I don't want to go there. This is the scariest thing here. Now we're officially... generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Boom. Only three bottles left. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op. so quiet and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. This was an old school punk shirt. remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the hush puppies. Now the sign is just, I don't want to go that way.
I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill? Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby? And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God? Or the gods? So, bow. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? Oh, yes. Once I figure out exactly how my power works. A god must doth know these things. Amen. And while you build an empire, I'm there to keep you on the path of badassness. And fun. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. Where to find... Every car has its own tale in history. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. Thanks for the tip. Nope, I don't want to go there. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Of metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just color? The Bigfoots were here. Could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time.
food bottle. One more bottle to go. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Voila, now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Yawn. I must... Just rid the world of the... Give me something to shoot, Max. I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Old school. Lame. Hello, what should I shoot? Fine, since you won't play, I'm gonna... Sh Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! 
Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Jesus, I shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! Stupid gun! Hold on, Chloe. You cruel bumper. Dude, I need a talk. I want to see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass. You guys better run for cover. Yet the bottle remains. Dude, I how about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! <laughs> You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. 
And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. Oops. At least Frank is gone. <laughs> I think I forgot we had no more bullets. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Nope, I don't want to go there. Are you ready to do this? We should jet before. We have plenty of time to do anything we want, whenever we want. Make me proud, sister. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. 
Then there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. I'm gonna keep the gun instead. Are you ready to do this? Sister. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory because I never forget. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out from here. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Seriously, Chloe, this is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all of this. I need a mental enema. Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid.
perfect. I better find a tool to cut those wires. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nope, I don't want to go there. Locking the drum. I just started playing, but I don't think I'm gonna make it in time to save her. No, didn't I just... Didn't I just pull that out? Nope. Circuit City. But which 
wire to cut. Please get me out of here! Now that's the right cable. Yes! I did it! <laughs> I just got it. You okay? You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, <laughs> desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but... I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? <sighs> You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Uh, it means shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming back. If you want, you can help me. It's my first playthrough. I have all of them. I have Before the Storm, and I have Life is Strange too. So, I I just be recently bought them all. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wondering. Vortex Club party. Like I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. Justin always looks stoned. Sir? Ah, hello, Max. Would you like to tell me what you wouldn't yesterday? Yeah, first time. No, I mean, I don't have anything to tell you. More secrets. Now, excuse me, I have a meeting to attend. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini-drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. Like, what does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They... Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. I keep missing the pictures. See, like, I only got one in the first one. I did better this time because I realized I was supposed to get them. But otters are cute. Go otters. Oh, Seriously. Hello, climate change. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. 
I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Forget it, Max. No soiree for you. What a jerk. Really? Can I go back in time and mess with her? Yes, I can. <laughs> hey, Courtney. Ch really? Oh, like you care. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Cool. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. It looks like I just got in there. Trevor surveys his domain. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you. But it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You stepped between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I kind of think the janitor the custodian is the weirdest guy. <clears throat> He's really weird. responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? So you can't talk to me, Kate. Me. I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? See, I didn't, I, I didn't realize I was supposed to take a bunch of pictures. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily uh, basis. The security guy? What if Kate brought this I don't himself? know. He just seems weird. She means well, but maybe she doesn't protest too much. The she janitor seems, like seems really her. weird. If you talk but I don't know him. if they're doing that on purpose, so...
Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? I think they're just portraying that do with Kate? janitor to be with really weird to throw you off. I don't know, though. Not to think of her. Rachel was I guess we'll see. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. Oh, I didn't. Even, like I wasn't even thinking us. about him. It this guy, I wasn't even thinking like about him. Drama around you this week. Listen, should I? Excuse me, Max. Hello. Yes. Um, uh, hold on. All I know is I like that Victoria so girl's like in class, love with him. Be there soon. It seems like. Yes. Hmm. Uh -huh. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts, and yours might be the one that decided. I I missed that too. How's your campaign going? It's missing somebody who should care. But no finger pointing here, Max. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. Some of us want to use I missed her completely in the first but episode. Like, like I didn't sign her petition. I didn't even see her. Jeez, I'm not I don't know. Like him so I missed I a bunch with her, I guess. But the trick is to make sure Blackwell Academy does not end up like him. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I probably totally messed I up the Mr. first Jefferson episode, so. Around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. Cause like I, I showed say, you, I didn't, I didn't get like any yet. photos. So. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again, real soon. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making think, your daily rounds? Think. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already this planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Bring me the brain, Igor. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate. No idea. We'll see. Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm assuming. Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. 
I'm going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. <laughs> I just, I just I wanted to see that. It's science. <laughs> yes, that was a blast. But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool. Yes, that was a blast. But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool. Should I leave it like that? Hey, Warren. Maxwell, so asking me for help means you're screwed. Have that either a bit of potassium. What picture? I have a vision. Go. A deep. picture of him blowing himself Podium? up. That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. I give up. Hey, right, I guess I was right. We're gonna leave him exposing himself, I guess. Hey, Warren. Maxwell, so asking me for have that either. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See, look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. All right, I'll go to the Let's teacher. I just will see him explode himself again. <laughs> All right, hold on. Hi again, Miss Grant. Right back at you, Max. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Hey, Warren. Maxwell, so... Asking me for help? Have that either... Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Thank you for the tip. Let's try it. I don't know what pick you're talking about, though. Oh, the chemistry set? Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. it. too late? Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Bring me the brain, Igor. Is it too late to get that picture now? Oh, thank you. I didn't even notice. That was fun helping. Thank you. Warm. He's pretty cute when he's in full on geek mode. Check out the big brain on Max. You might be the next Heisenberg of Blackwell. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Both. Both. Dana, I'm kind of doing like something now, you. Max. You look like ass. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. I got, I got that photo.
Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he... Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Or paparazzi. I want that photo whore, or I get nasty. Too late. Meow! Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Can I sit down? I don't know yet. I'm trying to. I'm trying to help her. I don't know. I don't, Can I don't know if I should or not, but I'm trying to help her. Better have the desk. That's all she's got. Assholes. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. No time to talk, Max. Art in progress. This guy, he's a jerk. <laughs> that guy's a jerk. <laughs> I dumped the paint on Victoria and took a picture of her. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Should I have not sat down? I don't know. What up, Max? Good. Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Well, we'll see what happens. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Oh, I didn't get to read what it said. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end. And we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking I guess Kate in this class now. There are a few I'm worried about her. Photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girls' dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. <laughs> Listen, everybody remain seated. N run, run, everyone, run. <laughs> Dismissed. Is this for real? It's yeah, I got that vibe too. Oh no. Oh she can't shit. Die. She can't. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again.
I should save her, right? Or should I not save her? do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. He matter, not just to me. Should I say that? You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe do that. Hey, do you want me to kill her? Because you gotta tell me. And we can do <laughs> this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always Maybe feel it's like too you late. Don't really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the oh, first you couldn't time save her? Really? In a week. Good. We all need to oh. have each other's backs. 50-50. So I want you to come with me now. We'll see. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Ah, uh, let's see. Now you got me worried. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with Maybe me, I made the right I choice. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. I think I did it. With you. I think I saved you're my her. Friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. I don't know what to choose. <clears throat> I have no idea. Oh, your father. Kate, I saw that card it's from your father. your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. I what saved are you her. Talking about? You saved me from talking in class. I saved her. I 
saved the day. I used my superpowers for good in the right spot. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Yeah, right, Blackwell is me. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Shut Academy, up. I take <laughs> that guy's my all jealous. seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. <clears throat> Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. Well, I saved the day. Your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was missed. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, because I use my powers for good, okay? Last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Because <laughs> I use my powers for good. <laughs> I don't know what you were doing. You using coffee. your powers for evil. <laughs> Why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Oh, I don't know what to choose. I can blame Nathan now. I have no proof, so that won't do nothing. Don't even remember Jefferson making her cry, but I only remember David bullying her. So, I don't know. What, what, what do you think? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, I can't, I can't hit squ I, square because that's... There's no proof there. But I, I don't remember Mr. Jefferson making her cry. So I have to say David bullied her, right? Hold on, give me like a, a few seconds. I'm going to think about this for a second. Unless you want to see me put, hit something. Do you want to make the choice for me? Because I'm thinking X. I'm thinking X. Oh, my choice? Okay, my choice. I went, I went with Mr. David Bullinger. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. But Kate I don't have a photo. With a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little Shh. Are you gonna take this junkie's word uh -oh. over your security officer? I know she smokes and deals what? marijuana. That has nothing to do with Kate. Max. I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Now, if you have anything else to say. Uh-oh. I should have said Nathan, huh? Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. Uh, I'd like to be I should have chosen Nathan. All right, Ms. Uh, Garfield, please sign here. To I totally screwed up. Told us I'll continue this investigation from there. My head Probably. Is oh, me. I can, huh? But I think I can use my power again. Now I'm going to say Nathan Doster.
All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could see so, you uh, this we'll see what so happens. Fast. I might just leave this I one. Have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? You can't. She's smoking and selling dope, not saving lives. No, I'm not. And that has nothing to do with Kate Marsh. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for a few days. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll <sighs> continue this investigation from there. That's because I said it was mine. That, that's because I took blame for smoking the weed. So, I guess we'll just stick with this. <laughs> I guess we'll just stick with this. We'll go. We'll go on with this. Maybe. Maybe I need David in my corner. But he kind of, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, I think we know less now than when we start. We'll be assisting the police with further... I don't know. I don't know what to do. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Hey, I had her back, okay? Maybe I shouldn't have, but you know. It's my first time playing through. I got all of them. I even got Life is Strange too, so. There will be a lot of bad mistakes made. <laughs> I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, Hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. All over. Video. I think you can. Is the right word. If you it play these, so you watched it. Somehow it. One and a half times. It connects over. Warren, I'm not sure though. I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something at the beginning. It, it'll it ask you if you want to um Kate Marsh continue from Amber. the story, Somehow. previous story. Nathan so I I'm I don't know. A big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I'm gonna end this video at the end of the episode and then start streaming episode three. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this So. Please come back and help me get through episode three. I would appreciate it. You can watch me make horrible choices <laughs> through episode three.
I really like the music in this game so far. They did a good job in the music department. I'm gonna get that fucking kid. I'm gonna get him so bad. <laughs> He's dead. Well, at least I saved her. I'm, I just want to see the end percentages, so... Then we'll see how many weird stuff I did compared to everyone else. Really? Oh, I'll, I'll have to wait and see what you mean exactly. They got, wow, 70% blame, blame Nathan, so I guess that maybe was the right choice? I don't, I don't know. I always water the plant. What else? Let's see. I did pretty much go. Well, I did gain entry to the Vortex Club party. That's less than half. I did shoot. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did shoot. <laughs> really? Okay, well, I'm going to end this stream, and then I'm going to jump right into episode three, so I'll see you there.